What's that, hon? I'm gonna record it for you. Go ahead. Gotcha, yeah, got it, okay. Well, Carrie, definitely uh, welcome to the core rank team. That's just what we call ourselves, core rank. We didn't know what else to call ourselves at this point, so. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited to have you um, pouring into the team and taking time out of your busy schedule because, lady, you're crazy busy. So um, just really excited to have you. And, uh, you know, I know we chatted a little bit about some ideas and um, you had some things that you wanted to say. So I'm going to let pass the baton over to you and uh, just say again, thank you. You've been amazing. Oh, for sure. Thank you so much for that. And you guys, I'm so excited to be on here, um, honestly, and I'll introduce myself in a minute, but I've just had the um, opportunity to connect with Rose recently. I'm just going to mute you guys so we don't get any background noise. Hold on. There we go. All right. I've had the opportunity to connect with Rose and like get to know her a little bit more. And, you know, you guys have an amazing leader here. Like she works her booty off behind the scenes. Like I cannot believe how much she does. So um, that is amazing. And you guys are in the right place with the right people and you guys have a lot going on. And, you know, I, I like that Rose kind of introduced it and said, like, we haven't come up with a name yet. Maybe moving forward, you guys all work on that. Like come up with something that like identifies you guys, like what your mission is. And, you know, I'm going to talk about that a little bit tonight, like your mission and like what you stand for and what your beliefs are and like why you're here. Right. So just keep that in your mind as like, I talk about a few things, but my name is Carrie, uh, Carrie Augustine. I'm from New Jersey. Uh, I've been with Modera for like four years and, um, my business really honestly just took off a ton last year. So a lot of what I share with you guys is like current things that I've learned, um, things that I've learned, like I'm really straightforward. I do. I did a lot of training with, um, Bryn Lang over the past year and a half. I trained with her for quite some time. If you guys don't follow her, I would definitely give her a follow because she gives a ton of free value and she is truly an amazing human being. Like you could reach out to her and she would give you help like behind the scenes for free. Um, and then most recently I started training with uh, Marina Simone. So I, I'm going to give you some of the things I've been learning from her, but I'm a mom of three. I'm divorced. I started this because I needed 500 extra dollars a month. Um, I was a high school Spanish teacher full time. So I was working this on the side and I wanted my body back. I wanted my confidence back. I wanted to feel good. I had low self-esteem, low self-confidence. When people see me now, like on TikTok and stuff, they're like, you're amazing. I don't know how you do these videos. Like I can't do them. I'm like, I couldn't do them three years ago either. Like, it's just like something I've learned. It's a learned skill. I've done a lot of failing forward. Like I just jump in, I fail forward and I learn, right? So that's my one tip for you guys. Like, just do it. Like, even if you're scared or nervous. And that was one thing I learned from Bryn originally, like the very first group she threw me in when I first started training with her, we had to go live with our peers in the group, like two times a week in the group. So like going live on your Facebook wall with like all of your followers, or you don't know who they are. It's like one thing, but going live me, even in front of you guys with your peers, like that's like scary. So I was, I remember sweating, shaking, wanting to throw up, but like from doing it so much, like I can do it like second nature now. So definitely like fail forward. Um, that's what I've done over the past three years and just ending talking about myself. I started then. And then last year, you know, I ended up hitting elite two and, um, here I am where I am now. And I love it. Like I love training people like I'm training you guys and just connecting and seeing people have wins like that's my my thing like I love seeing people overcome obstacles and hurdles and getting like financial wins emotional wins self-confidence wins so um that gives me the most um joy honestly so what I can say for you guys, and I wrote down some tips and I'll, some of these things that I'm going to share are from my time training with Marina, I, or um, with Bryn, I did a retreat. If you guys have never done a retreat and you have an opportunity to ever do one, I did went, um, not last year, the year before I went to Colorado and I trained with uh, Bryn and like her inner circle mastermind with like Janelle Delgado. I never did anything like that in my life. You guys like, <laughs> going and just getting on a plane all by myself and going to like stay in a room with someone I didn't know and hang out with 25 women that I didn't know. Um, I was like scared shitless, but when I came back, I was like a different person. So I'm going to give you some of the things we learned there from like Bryn, the girls there and Danelle. So one thing I can tell you guys, 
habits. And this is a huge Bryn thing. Like, I don't know how in tune you are with what your daily habits are, whether they're good habits or bad habits, you are a slave to them. So if you have good habits, you're a slave to your good habits, whether it's a healthy lifestyle, whether it's eating good, filling your, your mind with good positivity on a daily basis or bad habits, eating junk food, staying up too late, not being active. So what can you do to start fine tuning them so that they're habits that are identifying with where you want to go, where you want to be, what you want to feel like, right? So how many of you guys, are you familiar at all with the greatest salesman in the world, the book, the scrolls? Have you guys ever heard of that? You can drop it in the chat. Um, so if you have never heard of that book, I would totally recommend buying it. Do I have mine over here? I should have had it so I can hold it up for you. It's a really thin book. A lot of the really um, high level leaders in Modair have lit, have read the scrolls multiple times. So the idea is it's a real thin book. There's 10 scrolls. You're supposed to read each scroll. So you start with scroll one, you read it. This is the crazy part. You're supposed to read it three times a day for 30 days. Then you go on to scroll two. You read it three times a day for 30 days. So it's called The Greatest Salesman, yeah, by Og Mandino. And honestly, for someone like Rose that's in her car all the time, and this is, I cheated a little bit and I listened to it. If you look on YouTube, they have the um, video where they'll read it. The idea is that you're reading these scrolls and they're just rewiring your mind because have you ever like listened to a song and it gets stuck on repeat in your head because you've heard the song over and over? So it's the same thing with the scrolls. They like rewire your brain to like think of your habits and your routines and the seeds that you're planting and the activity. So if you really want to go like hardcore, I recommend buying the book or at least go and listen to the YouTube. And when I did the YouTube, I would listen to chapter one, which scroll one, I would stop. I would do it at nighttime before bed. I would stop. I would go backwards, go to scroll one, listen to it in the morning. So that's my tip as far as habits. Another really quick tip with habits is, I don't know how many of you guys start your day looking at your phone. Don't do it. Like just stop doing it. I, I stopped. I used to look at my phone first thing. I would roll over, grab my phone and I would wake up and see like a crappy message from a customer that was like annoyed or something happened or someone on my team. And it would like spiral my entire day because I woke up and looked at that. How many of you can relate to that? So what I recommend doing, and this is another Bryn ism is wake up and start your day with gratitude. So I don't know how many of you guys are starting your day thinking about things that you're grateful for, journaling things that you're grateful for. And honestly, it shouldn't be as a whole. It should be like really just like last 24, 48 hours. Like what can, what are you grateful for? Are you grateful for like something that happened with your kids, something that happened in your life, an obstacle that you overcame? If you can't think of anything that, that niche, then go a little bigger. And, you know, are you grateful for like, clean running water in your house, like electricity, like you could do that, but it's always cool to be grateful for something like current, right? So starting your day like that, it's just positivity. Like I am such an optimist. I look at everything like glass half full um, and that's where gratitude gets you, right? So starting your day um, from a place of gratitude. Also analyzing every day backwards. So how do you do that? You look at your day as a whole, right? This is at the end of the day. What worked that day? What worked, what didn't, and how can you improve? So what worked? Did you do a post that worked? Okay, cool. Now you know you should be providing that sort of content, that type of post. Did you do a story today? A story that got interaction? Or did you do a story that nobody voted on? Nobody looked at it? How can you analyze what you're doing looking at your activities as a whole to change them up on a daily basis, right? Because it's all honestly just looking at what you're doing and we're on social media, we're building businesses on social media. You should be giving your audience what they want. They're following you for whatever good content you're putting out there. So if people are engaging with a certain type of content, don't flip the script and put something totally different. They're not following you for that, right? So analyzing constantly backwards. Um, oh yeah, I have so many things I could go over with you guys. Confidence. I don't know how many of you guys struggle with confidence. I did. Um, if you are trying to recruit, for example, and you're having struggle, struggling recruiting people, 
it's going to come down to like your own confidence level and your beliefs in yourself and your business. Do you believe that you're capable of recruiting people? Do you believe that we have an amazing business plan and amazing business business model? Do you believe in the products that you're using, right? So writing down things like what's good about you? What's good about you? What do you bring to the table? So someone joining you, what do you bring to the table? What are you offering them, right? Um, what are your strengths? What are your gifts, your talents? Writing these things down so you know what you're talking to someone about when you're having a conversation. You're not just going like off the grain, right? Um, the belief, again, in the products. Like what, what do you believe about what are our products, what we have and what we can offer people, right? What you're passionate about. Um, something that Danelle went over when we were, I wanted to go over this with you guys. When we were in Colorado, she said this, and I love visuals. I was a teacher, so I like to like look at PowerPoints and visuals. So she had told us, imagine you have a champagne tower, right? A champagne tower, like when you go to a wedding, you have like all the glasses lined up with all the champagne, like dripping down, you know, one of those like almost looks like a fondue, but champagne. She was like, imagine that you're at the top and everyone under you is everyone in your network, everyone on your team, all of those people, right? So if you have one drop of negativity, one drop of like doubt in what you're doing, and that's red, right? Imagine you have all this clear champagne and you put one drop of red in there. What happens? It just funnels down and goes through all the glasses. How long does it take one drop of red to, to go away? Because it's going to go down. It's going to cycle back up to the top. Now it's going to be a little bit lighter red, but here it goes again. It's going through the glasses and then it's going to go again, right? So just one drop. So she's like, just take away all the doubt. Get rid of all of that doubt and all the negativity from your life. Don't let it in. Bryn always says you have an energy bubble. You have a bubble of energy, right? Imagine you're in one of those spheres, those balls that we see kids play in. Don't let the negative energy in. Protect it at all costs, whatever you can do. If someone calls you up and they have negative energy, I called Bryn up many times to vent with, with her. She would give me like one to three minutes. All right, I'm going to hear you out. You have one to three minutes. Went after that. We're going to come up with a solution and we're moving on because it's just negative. You're harboring all that negative energy, right? So when people come at you, if you have a number in your phone, like I'm not going to lie, I have family members I don't talk to. So like if someone that is negative to you, don't answer it. Why? Why are you giving that your energy, right? Protect your energy, all costs, all day long. If you have customers, if you have team members, if, if someone's negative, like, eh, eh, no, you don't need it. One bad apple, they say. One bad apple can ruin the entire bunch. Um, so yes, your habits, you should focus on gratitude, your goals, and your growth. So what is what are you grateful for? What are your goals? And growing every day. What can you do to grow every day? Listen to a YouTube. Listen to something in one of our... Um, training groups, listen to a podcast. Bryn and Danelle both recommended like 30 minutes of growth a day. So something like that's the thing I think a lot of us do you guys is you get stuck in this training mode and you're not act, you're not doing it right. So like definitely learn. I love learning. But like if we sit here and we're consuming all this training and content all day long, when are you ever going to put it into practice, right? So what I did when I grew my business, to be honest with you, in the very beginning, I looked at people around me that were winning. I looked at people like Bryn and Marina and other people, and I kind of just saw what they did. And I emulated it for myself. Like there are a lot of people, you guys, that are winning at Modere. Maybe you're into skincare. Go find someone that's into skincare at Modere. Watch how they do stuff. Watch how they put content out. Watch how they talk about content. That's what I did. I watched people and I listened and I was like, oh, that's how I can talk about the trim. That's how I can talk about the bio cell. That's how I can share it on my stories. And then I just tweaked it for myself. And as my audience started to respond, I was like, oh, they want to learn about this. They want to learn about that. And that's another thing because I'll like leave this and just go over DMO for like five minutes, like daily method of operation, you guys just, I'm sure Rose gives you tons of things you can go off of. And we're all on different levels, right? Like some people are working this part-time, some people are working this full-time, some people are working this, you know, whatever time, like whenever you can pick what works for you, give yourself your minimums for the day. What is your minimum that you're going to do for the day, every day or whenever you're working, no matter what? And it doesn't have to be major. Like if your minimum is I'm going to put one story up, I'm going to reach out to five people, 
and I'm going to do five follow-ups. That's cool. That's great. And then on a day when you're off from work, you're homesick, you have some vacation time. If you want to triple that, that's awesome. But know that this is your minimum that you're going to do every day to be consistent, to keep your business growing, to see that so people see what you're doing. Think about it this way, you guys. If you're consistent, right? Say you reach out to Sarah today. Sarah's like, nah, I'm not looking to lose weight. But three months from now, if Sarah decides she's looking to lose weight and you've been consistent the whole time, who's she going to think of first? Carrie's been posting all this stuff, chocolate spoons, eating good, meal prepping, meal planning. Finally, Sarah reaches out three months later. Hey girl, I'm finally ready. That's where the seeds are planted. You're just planting seeds on a daily basis. And you always have people watching no matter if they are or they aren't, if they're reaching out, responding, or they're not, right? So that's where you're doing your minimums every single day. Pick what they are for your life. Whatever's gonna move the needle a little bit, right? and analyze backwards. So you're just doing the DMO and you're analyzing backwards of these minimums, of these things that I did, what worked and what didn't. When I posted something, did it get engagement or did it not? Did it get me in conversations or did it not? Did it get people responding or did it not? How many times do you post something on Facebook? This is my other tip. How many times do you post something on Facebook and nobody writes on it or anything? Do you know what I do when that happens? Like if I don't get engagement in like an hour, I delete the post. Like. I'm done, like, I'm gonna try again. No joke, like, because maybe I posted at the wrong time. Maybe nobody saw it. Maybe it wasn't really anything of good content. Like, the idea is, and this is just me, like, if you want to post all kinds of stuff, that's fine. Like, if, if you, you know, if that's your jam. But for me, if I'm putting content out there, the idea is I want people to engage with it, right? Like, I want people to comment or question or drop something, right? So unless it's like, you know, family pictures or whatever, but even then most people are usually like, oh my gosh, your kids are cute or something, you know? So I don't know. I'm just, if you throw something out there and it doesn't work, like I just sometimes do my analyzing quickly and I'm like, all right, I'm going to put something else up. Um, but yeah, I feel like were those good tips, Rose? <laughs> I could talk about whatever else. My mind can keep going because I just... Oh my gosh, Jeff. I think that absolutely. Um, I was taking a bunch of notes here. I mean, Man, here's the Janelle line. Write this down. Growth. I mean, that's awesome. And your it, minimum uh, for the day. And I think sometimes some of us. We lost you. What was it? Write down this line that Janelle says. And you could put this somewhere. Who loses if I don't win? So who loses if you don't win? If you don't win at this, who's losing? Is your family losing? Is your team losing? Are your customers losing? Is your social media following losing? I don't know. Who loses if you aren't successful? If you throw in the towel, who's losing? Who's missing out? Whose lives aren't you impacting? Who's not gonna feel better, look better? Whatever, right? So I, when Danelle kept saying that that weekend, like who loses if you don't win? who loses if I don't win? And I'm like, it's so true. Like if I just gave up right now, it's where's it all go? You know, like, what about that one person that you maybe like were making, like how many times have you guys gotten a message where it's like, you didn't even think anything was going on and a customer sends you a message and they're like, Oh, like, I just wanted to let you know, like that just like makes your day. Like, Holy crap. One person that is having gut health or they lost a couple of pounds or, you know what I mean? Like they feel confident in their little black dress. I don't know. So that, and I would get post-it notes, you guys, and put your affirmations somewhere. I have them. Affirmations about yourself. Start thinking positive. I am strong. I am capable. I am deserving. I am beautiful. Put them on your makeup mirror. Put them on your mirror when you're getting ready. Put them on the mirror in the bathroom. I'm not kidding. Because what happens to those things? You ever have like a euphemism in school when you were growing up and every day when you walked into school, you saw it? It's the same thing. It just trains your mind. My background on my phone is like a vision board. Like it's like a vision board. I still have my goofy MacBook that I'm on right now. I haven't changed it, but like I wanted a MacBook and it's on my phone, my vision board and like my quotes and stuff. So yeah. That's awesome. Oh, there's my girl, Lindsay Combs. So awesome. <laughs> We're about to do power hour.
She's oh, okay. Out. I was like, hey, I got a new person. Yay, thanks. I'll take her. <laughs> She's like, what's going on? There's so many people on here. <laughs> great, She's great. probably like, holy shit, everybody showed up for our power hour tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she 